God bless everybody today. It is January 21st of 2023. And I believe there is an article that just came out that's a game changer in where this is heading. Um, this is a Daniel 8 and 10 update. So it goes along with the updates that I've been presenting in the last month or so. Um, but what's happened here, I think, has changed the whole dynamic of how the Middle East is going to unravel. Because what has occurred in Sweden is going to move from a political to a religious issue. And the reason I'm saying that is because Sweden um, granted permission to burn the Quran outside the Turkish embassy. And Erdogan is continuing to block this country and Finland from NATO. Now, just recently, some Kurdish people had hung an effigy of Erdogan outside a uh, building in Stockholm. And so this irritated him and made him angry to begin with. But now they're burning a Quran. And this is, in Erdogan's eyes, this is going to be hate speech. And this isn't going to be even a Kurdish, um, Muslim, a Turkish issue anymore. This is going to turn into a Christian Muslim issue and a religious problem instead of a political problem. It's going to be political, but it's going to convert it to a political and a religious problem at the same time. Now, this guy that they gave permission, the Swedish government gave permission, I can't say his name probably very well, so um, he's a Convicted right now. This is what the article says. I don't know the politics over here. I'm just reading the article for what it states and trying to give you the information. There'll be many more articles brought out on just exactly what's happening as this moves forward. Basically, it indicates he's a convicted right wing uh, leader uh, from Sweden and it, he's Danish Swedish, so he's not Kurdish. And so, this is going to be viewed as a religious. Uh, movement against um, him and he's even indicating that that this is a freedom of speech um, type thing um, this is going to cause more uh, protests and riots and different things and so the question is then would Erdogan as we move forward and you can see what's happening there in the street. This is the man, I guess, that uh, got the permission to do this. Um, this is just going to cause a rift um, in NATO, Turkey, and all that's going on there. And that's going to wash over into the Middle East. And this is what I keep saying. I don't think Erdogan is going to stay in NATO. He, his ideology is totally against what they're trying to accomplish here. And this is just fueling the fire on why he won't let Sweden in. Um, I believe Hungary also has to ratify um, this also. But um, it was mainly hinged uh, to have Finland and Sweden come into NATO based on Turkey. And they have to have like all 30 nations ratify and vote to have this happen. So they all have to be a part of this process. And they all have to agree. But at this point, it doesn't look like Erdogan's going to agree to this at all. And this is going to boil over. And like I say, if he leaves NATO, if he invades through Operation uh, Claw Sword, as he's been indicating, um, and I just did a video yesterday about how Russia's getting ready to ship um, fighter jets to Iran, and Hamas is getting ready to attack Israel, and we're also seeing Turkey trying to get fighter jets and armament from um, the U.S. And they're being denied. And then what did we see? We saw the U.S. shipping armaments from a warehouse or stockpile in Israel to Ukraine. And so there's a lot of different moving pictures going on here. But they all basically look to me like Erdogan is getting ready to invade Syria and Iraq and if that happens 
Um, due to the extent of the operation that I believe that he'll launch and how large and quickly this is going to move, that NATO won't agree with his ideology and they will create a rift here and it'll separate or um, be severed over time. Um, I think he'll hold it together as long as he can and utilize the NATO resources to uh, shore up his um, defensive and offensive forces and his equipment um, because he's got a lot of outdated um, jet fire planes and things like that. And so he's moving to mobilize to get this armament and these different weapons and things. And I think that um, that may fall short. Um, his time schedule has moved up since he now has moved the election cycle from June to May 14th, which is uh, Israel's um, birthday of their nation. And so that was another question I had arisen. Um, you know, why did Erdogan pick May 14th, um, Israel's uh, national birth date, uh, for his election cycle, and how is that going to affect the Jewish people in Israel as we move forward. So I just wanted to bring this forward. Um, I think this is maybe the game changer and we're moving closer and closer to that 24th date I keep talking about. So um, will anything happen on the 24th? It doesn't say that it will. It just says that it moves forward and a chain of events starts on that date and I believe it will happen quickly after that. Um, if not, something might actually even occur on that date. And it looks like we're going to get a feel for how Erdogan's going to view this and how fast he's going to move on this. And it is moving quickly at this time. So I will try to keep you updated um, as we move forward here and as this dynamic changes and the Middle East um, becomes enraged in war as well as Europe and other areas of the world. And these are all part of the sorrows and birth pains that he warned us about and that he said would happen and that we shouldn't be worried about rumors of wars and wars because it's not the time for the Lord to come back. This is just the beginning of the sorrows and birth pains. And so we're moving in. We are in the seals right now. And the seven seals will break first, and then if you go to Revelation 8, 1 and 2, um, uh, verse 1 and 2, and it tells you clearly that seven seals are broken, then you have a half an hour of silence, and then he hands out the trumpets, or the seven trumpets, and we start in that trumpet phase. So, you know, look at that, how that's laid out, and you're in the first four seals right now. And we're going to watch a quarter of the world get uh, evolved into war in the Middle East, um, as it's indicated. <laughs> and this will basically develop into the Ottoman footprint in World War I. And you will see Turkey gain ten full nations and head to Egypt and Israel probably by the end of this year. So God bless everybody. Keep an eye on this one. This one's moving quickly. Put oil in your lamp. Find the open door. Find Jesus. And God bless. And have a great day.